Her sister will have to sign the consent form. You are in no condition to sign a legal document. You will have to. What is going on here? You are drunk, Lorna. I got a call from a nurse who said that it was about Jenna. What is wrong with Jenna? It is Jenna. What's wrong with her? This is Jenna's sister, Lorna Devon. Where is Jenna? They took her to surgery. What? Is it her baby? Well, how bad is it, bad, Felicia? Bad. They, 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 she passed what? out. Lorna. Is she miscarrying? Lorna, I think she ruptured something. How? Your how did she rupture something? Incompetent. Her signature wouldn't be legal. You need an extra consent. Right away. It could be an ectopic pregnancy. Can you give me this and sign it? I'll sign it. It's obvious my mother is completely useless. Skills to come back once we get started. John, I still think you should get someone else. I'm rusty there and I'm entering into a life-threatening situation. You could call in an attendant. We don't have time. Jenna needs you, and you will deliver. Understood, Doctor? Understood. Come on, people. I'm counting seconds. She's already in shock from loss of blood. You ready? She's up. Let's go. I was working on this for my baby. My kid is gonna grow up with music from day one. Dean, uh, what? What? Jenna was taken to the hospital. Why? I don't know. I, I don't know any details. The nurse called. Is there an accident or something? Is she hurt us? It's just an emergency. Well, That's she? all I know. Bay City General, come on, I'll drive you. John Hudson's on duty. All right, please. Okay, that's one. All right, let, let's go for the one on the downside. Sponge. I want you to know that Jenna, Jenna had passed out before the the um, EMS, Felicia, the him, the doctor EMS. came. She was in a lot of pain. Why? What did you do to her? We, we had this argument. And before I knew it, she, she passed out. She doubled over into fainted. I just knew. I knew this whole Lorna. entire trip was absolutely crazy. Lorna, I, I, I knew I, I had to get her to the hospital. There, there was no phone in, in this ca cabin, so I, I drove her, but I couldn't do it. Because you were drinking. Because you were drinking, Felicia. Yes. You were drunk. We were fighting about. But I got, I got her into the, into the car. And I just couldn't see. I, I, I couldn't see the road, the storm. The, I, I... I pulled over. I dialed 911 and I, they sent an ambulance for her. You know, you promised Jenna that you weren't going to drink up no, in the cabin. No, no, I, 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 didn't, I didn't promise well, that. What did you I think, didn't... Felicia? What did you think? Did you think that you could hide it from her? You know something? You are sick. You are sick. She got me. And I slapped her. God forgive me. I slapped that sweet little face. Nice move, Mother. Really nice. You know something? All Jenna ever wanted was to fix everything. That's all she ever wanted. Please, don't let her lose this baby. Did you hear the nurse? Did you hear the nurse? Did you hear what the nurse said? The baby might not be the only one who might not make it. Oh, no, don't say that. Don't say that. She can't lose this baby. Jenna can't die. She doesn't deserve it. After this call. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Cass, it's Kevin Anderson. Does the DA always work this late, or is it just when he wants to nail a friend? I'm not at work, Cass. I'm at the hospital with Lorna. The hospital? What happened? Is it Felicia? No, it's Jenna. Does Dean happen to be at your place? I've been trying to locate him and... 
I'm sorry, no, he's, he's not here. What's going on with Jenna? I don't blame you for hating me. I don't hate you. I hate the drinking. I was yelling at Jenna. She needed me and all I could do was yell at her. I don't know what I was thinking about. You weren't. You were smashed. Once again, Mother. What, what are you Listen, doing I've been here. trying to reach you. I came with Lorna. She signed the release for Jenna's surgery. Jenna's surgery? What is, was there an accident or something? Was there something? <laughs> the baby? No, no, no. There, there wasn't an accident. What, what? There has been a lot of bleeding, however. How could that be? She was fine when she left the house. She was... Was Felicia with her? As far as I know. What did you do? Did you... Oh, my God. I can smell the alcohol off you from here. I could... You broke your promise. No, I, you broke I your never, promise. I, I knew that something like this was going to happen. I said it to her. So, what did you do to her? What did you do? You know, she only went into that cabin to help you, to help you and your little drinking problem. You know that, I right? She should have been home. I could have taken care of her. I should be looking after her instead of her looking out after you. It's a little late for that, isn't it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She did nothing but protect you. I love you, Felicia. I understand. Look what's happening now because of, because of you. Look what's happening. I've let her go up there by herself. Being with Felicia is worse than being alone. So she called 911. Oh, don't defend her, Matt. Please, I swear I'll pull the hair out of my head. I can't imagine what she's going through right now. She must be so scared. She, she must be so... She can't even stand going to doctors, you know that? I should have been with her, not Felicia. I should have been with her. Jenna loves Felicia, okay? I, I'm not letting Felicia get off the hook this time, all right? So Jenna would not want you to blame Felicia for this. How can you say that? Her, her drinking wasn't even the cause. Matt, she happened. would never have lost this much blood if she was at home. You can yell at me, but blaming Felicia is not going to help Jenna, okay? Fine. Right. This, this nurse said that the doctors were coming out here to talk to us. Where the hell are they? Where's the doctors? Dean, I just got some more information from the head nurse. Why are they talking to you? I am the baby's I, father. I guess because I had to sign the consent form. What did they say? Basically that Jenna was in shock when the EMS team brought her in. <laughs> and right now she's in surgery. John Hudson is performing the procedure with Kelsey Harrison, who's assisting. So she's in really good hands, Dean. Good. That'll help. She likes them. That's good. Yeah, and so that should help, right? What else did they say? Just that they'll let us know when she's out of surgery. I, um, I thought some tea might help. Thanks. It sounds like it's going to be a long wait. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Look, Matt, I don't, I don't want to intrude here. No, 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 no. Dean needs a lot of support. And I found out from Lorna that uh, ectopic pregnancies never survive. Does Dean know? No. <sighs> they were so happy. <sighs> you know what gets me? Stuff happens to the wrong people, right? No, that's that's not what I was thinking. I mean, this is awful no matter who it happens to. It's just, it's just how one minute everything can be fine, and then the next, if everything is a mess. Jenna's been through a lot of losses. I just hope she can get through this one. Well, maybe there's a chance that they'll both still pull through. Yeah. Ryan. Hey, guys. From the looks on your faces, the news isn't good. Is this seat taken? You've been through it too, right? Same thing as Jenna. Oh, well, it doesn't have to be the same. No one said Jenna's going to lose her baby. You think that she will lose the baby? I mean, do you, can you feel anything that's happening right now? Like when you did when Felicia was in the fire? Oh, honey, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> well, however it works, can you just tell me? Because she needs a little help. She's not in good shape. I can feel that. 
What, what I can I, feel it. What I do, honey, is I pray. I pray. All right, then please pray, okay? Because I know that God hears your prayers, Frank. Oh, sweetheart, I don't know that that's true. I don't know how this gift of mine works. Okay. Well, however it works, you gotta... You gotta help because she needs help. So please help her, okay? Okay, please. I will. I'll, I'll help her. I'll try. But I need you to help me, okay? Okay, now come on. Come on. Dean, honey, look at me. Please. I want you to imagine a powerful white light, a shining bright white light. Okay, shh. And this light spreads strength and healing to all of us, okay? Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay, so right. now close your eyes. Shh. Feel it in there. Now, honey, look at me. Shh. I want you, I want you to picture this light. Picture this light inside Jenna. And I want you to picture it spreading to every part of her body and to your baby. Sweetie, can you see that? Yes. And it's, and it's washing over them and it's healing them, sweetheart. And it's making them well. Can you feel that, sweetie? Okay. Imagine that. Breathe, honey, breathe. Come on, please. Come on, Jenna, fight. Just reach down and find the strength and fight. We are almost there. Come on. It's up to you now, Kelsey. Dean, I want you to open your heart and your mind to all of the possibilities of the universe. I want you to focus on sending your strength to Jenna. Okay. I'm reaching her, okay? Good. That's my boy. Now, you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to keep praying for Jenna and for your baby and for John and Kelsey. And I just hope that it works. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I love you, sweetheart. I love you too. Think about me day and night. Because she loves you and you love her. Doesn't entitle me to just take all the time. And then I took her away from Dean. I loved her and she felt safe with him. And I put her through holy hell. God. I don't know how I could be so selfish. Listen to me. Listen to me. Jenna's going to pull through. She's got to. Helps. And mainly I was trying to comfort Dean. Were you comforting Douglas Carson too? You openly supported his decision to refuse medical care. He didn't want extreme measures taken, Kevin. That's not illegal. You may think it's fine for a person to take his own life, but in my book, it's a crime. It is still every person's Don't right. Don't say now, another just... word. It's fine by me. No more conferences between you two without me present. Is that understood? Jenna's out of surgery. John's coming down right now to talk to us. Is she okay? We're going to get the word now. Let's go. go. Shouldn't be that much longer, Dean. Oh, uh, thank you guys for keeping blood. That was really nice. It's, you're good friends. I'm gonna let Jen know that, okay? Listen, uh, I want you to take it easy on the work, okay? Take a little vacation, talk to Lorna. I don't think we should make any decisions until uh, we know how Jen is doing, and then we can do that. All right? you think I could sit with you? I'd like to be next to you when we get the news about Jenna. I'd rather you didn't. Guys, I think that Jenna would really hate this. Please. Neither one of us could go on without her. Oh, look, John's here. Come on. Can I uh, see her? Soon. The first thing I want you to know is that Jenna came through surgery just fine. Oh, my God. She's in recovery, and she's stable. She's okay. She's out of immediate danger, but she did lose an awful lot of blood, which means that she'll be weak for the next several days. He's saying she needs a rest. She's been through a real ordeal. And what about the baby? Jenna's pregnancy was ectopic. It was never viable. 
What, what, I don't, what does that mean? It means that the baby was being developed in the fallopian tubes, not the uterus. Did you move it? No. No, Dean. We, we couldn't. It wasn't a normal pregnancy. The baby never would have fully developed, Dean. <laughs> so the baby's gone, then? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, sweetie. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. such a mess right now. I, I wish you were here. I know that you would know what to say to Jenna and to Dean. Their whole world fell apart tonight. Mine too. We lost our grandchild. A baby we never even got to hold. God, look, I don't know how many times I have to go through this kind of pain alone. Happened to you, Fanny. Luke. You've never been afraid of life before. What's changed you? Everything has changed since you died. Since you went away. Fanny, you carried me in your heart all those years we weren't together. Because I always believed that I would see you again. And I did. But now I know I never will. I'm still inside you. Inside your heart and I'll never stop loving you or ever leave you. Terrible without you, sweetheart. I, I don't seem to find the good in, in things and people. I feel so alone. You aren't alone. So many people love you. Trust that, believe that. And I promise everything will start making sense. Luke, I don't know who I am anymore yes you do yes you do you know what you've become 